everybody it's your homegirl joy here i hope you can hear me i'm gonna show you my experimental garden now as some of you may know i'm from new york i gardened with my mom when i moved to utah after jared and i got married we had a garden of our own and that was a different climate a different situation it was actually easy that dry weather i i was okay with it now texas is a whole different thing texas is brutal <laughs> so the weather here is humid and hot and all of a sudden it's really dry and hot so the soil here is not soil it's dirt it's clay <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing but i'm going to show it to you anyways because it's real i'm going to show you what my garden looks like right now <laughs> Okay, so this is where I had corn. A tree started growing. I haven't touched this in weeks, by the way. My tomatoes, on the other hand, have been doing very well um, because I stopped uh, pruning them and maintaining them. They've gotten a little wild, but they actually produce very well. So tomatoes here are actually doing great. I had these beautiful, lush watermelon vines and cucumber vines that just <sighs> died. <laughs> this is just basil, basil, basil. They've actually been doing very well in this heat and drought. And um, yeah, I'm actually really impressed. I, I harvested some basil seeds and I made a little story about that on my Instagram and I'll link it so you can check that out as well. I had my banana pepper, which ended up being a sweet pepper when I wanted a hot banana pepper. My zucchini just was obliterated by vine borers. I had never had to deal with vine borers before. Um, I didn't realize that they were even a thing in all my years of gardening. Once I realized what it was, what was happening to my zucchini plants and my squash, um, it was too late. They were already dying and then the heat wave hit right when I found out and finished the job. So um, I kind of just let them go and I realized I would have to start over. This is my experimental okra patch. It was a row of nine okra plants. A lot of weeds have grown in this area. I didn't know how the soil would be here. I actually ended up adding more soil and I also didn't know how this tree would affect my okra plants and I realized they're not getting enough sun but I did get okra. They're growing. Some of them are a little too big now just because this was experimental so I'm, I'm not worried about, <laughs> look at this one, I'm not worried about harvesting them. So that was gonna be a serious patch at first until I realized that this was gonna be my first year gardening in a new place, in a new state, new climate, environment, um, everything. And I just didn't know what it was gonna be like and I didn't wanna set myself up for failure and disappointment. So I kept telling myself, this is an experimental garden. <laughs> um, I'm getting a feel for for what I can and cannot grow. In the springtime, I was actually able to grow potatoes successfully and lettuce. Um, although I planted them a little too late and they started to bolt and get really bitter. I couldn't get them to be sweet at all. And I grew sugar snap peas as well. I think I'm gonna try to grow um, bunching onion I'm gonna try pumpkin again because I planted that along with my corn and um, it just, again, the heat got to them and I wasn't able to, to water them sufficient, sufficiently. <laughs> so I'm gonna end up pulling all of these basils because they have bolted so they taste like black licorice now and I can't stand black licorice. <laughs> so unfortunately this, well, I guess it won't go to waste. I have my little compost pile here. These are all um, branches that my husband had trimmed for me, so this area could get sufficient sun. After this, this autumn, during the winter, 
we're, we're gonna change the whole layout of the garden and make it a lot bigger and, and put it in a different area so we can utilize the space that we have properly. I'm getting like redder and redder <laughs> the longer I'm out here and I'm trying not to stay out here because my, my skin, since we moved here, my skin has been having these like really bad dry patches here and I've, I'm in the middle of trying to fix that and, and trying to cure that. <laughs> it's been difficult. So excuse the mess because I'm going through all of this and figuring out what I want to plant to wear. Um, but this was basil that I had growing over here and I was, I, I had them in, in little planters um, as starters. I had it in that glass container um, so it could collect water out here and acclimate but the, the heat and the drought got this basil but it started to reseed itself. I thought that was the coolest thing and it made me so happy because <laughs> I didn't know if I should reseed some basil so I can actually get some basil this year um, and it looks like I will be able to. This is one of three failed chamomile plants, which I, I'm not even gonna really go into right now. These guys are the superstars. My sage plant and my serrano and, and banana pepper plants. They have adored this heat, but do wilt in the sun. So having them in this partial shade, um, it has been just optimal for <laughs> their survival. There's a couple that I haven't picked just yet, just because I have so much. I overestimated how many serrano peppers I wanted, because <laughs> I bit into one and it just about burned my tongue off. Um, I wasn't prepared for the pain to last for 20 minutes. <laughs> but so this is my Texas sage, which is absolutely beautiful. I love it. It has these silvery leaves and it's supposed to have these really pretty pink blossoms that um, kind of comes with with humidity and I actually think yeah I think this is the first bud of the plant which I'm so excited about and this is my Meyer lemon. This was supposed to be one of the tougher things to grow and it has just been doing beautifully. <laughs> So that is what I have been working with <laughs> this summer. There's just a lot that I need to do to fix the mess that I made. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited to, to get to planting again. So I'm actually gonna pull out almost everything there, probably leave the tomatoes, but I'm gonna plant some potatoes since those did so well. And then I think in a container, I'm gonna do the bunching onion because I don't want it to die again. It is too hot, so the sun is way too strong, and I'm not sure how to fix that without um, having to spend money on a cover, which I I can't get right now, because it's gonna have to be big. I'm actually gonna go inside because I need to drink some water. I feel myself getting dehydrated. If you liked, hit the like button. Um, leave a comment down below on what you're doing for your garden right now. Is it a mess? Is it? lush and flourishing. Um, do you live in the DFW Texas area? If so, how the heck do you combat all of this heat and this intense sun? Because my little northern heart <laughs> is aching right now for a lush garden. And I'm not used to not having a green thumb. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Remember, just stay joyful, take care of yourself. You need to water yourself as much as you water your garden. That is the biggest thing that I have learned. <sighs> All right, see you later guys, bye.